so we're just gonna have to look at it and cry. Because all I can do here is repair. Oh man, that hurts. That hurts real bad. <laughs> so let's get out of here. I'm gonna have to... Ooh, man. I might have to deal with some very sketchy shit because I messed up. The distress beacon is coming from a civilian ship. It appears to be being chased by a pirate. Well, as always, let's help him. Oh, shit. Alrighty, then. <laughs> here we go. Nothing like a cloaking ship, but he only has ion and the big, uh, like, fire beam weapon, so I'm not too hugely concerned with this. This won't be too bad. So let's go ahead and we're gonna knock. Uh, let's go for the oxygen here. Actually, no, I forgot. This damn rock ship, so it's got the double shield, so we're gonna go for the shield. Yeah, because he only has one ion beam, so he will only ever be able to knock out one half of my shield at a time. Yeah, so we're 100% okay. I just gotta keep hitting him. Excuse me? Why did his beam weapon just go through my shield? Oh, some of the beam weapons go... Wait, fuck. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. That was not... Oh, Jesus. Come on. You gotta be fracking with me. Yeah, this is already going pitiful. No, we're getting the fuck out of here. We are getting the fuck out of here. I'm not fighting that. And because this is happening next. You found the exit beacon, but the rebels got here first. You must survive long enough to jump to the next sector. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Yo, my man has so many weapons. <laughs> oh man, we need to get that FTL drive up now. Like yesterday. Please get back in your room. I need someone on engines. Because things are going bad real quick. And of course, naturally, you know, the fucking FTL drive is going to take four and a half years to lock. Oh my god. Oh, the oh, Jesus ripping through my ship. Oh man, this might be where I'd- Oh, fuck yeah, I'm dead. There's no way I'm getting out of here. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Mm -hmm. I saved him. We're good. We're good. No, we're not. We're not good. Even We're not even slightly good. Oh my god. Quick! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot my pop filter. Oh, man. Good god. Oh, every okay. So things are on fire. The sh <laughs> the slugs that live in this nebula field are a leisure-centered civilization. Everything in slug life is done in the pursuit of more currency and more time in which to spend it on extravagant ventures. This inevitably leads to much treachery in open space. God damn. <laughs> The shield room is just on fire, so yeah, no, you you can stay there. We're just gonna vent the shield room. That's that's fine. <laughs> Golly, this is great. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, McDonald's style. No, not really. Hmm, man. <laughs> Oh man, I, I think uh, for. Hold on, I still hear fire. Something. Oh, is it this room still on fire? So I remember that was. Yep, it was. I about to say I remember that room being on fire. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn it. Things are not going bueno for the Twilight Runner. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, I think for uh, as far as tonight goes, I think I'm probably going to call it uh, whenever <laughs> this trip inevitably gets cut short. <laughs> so, 
but we're gonna keep going. We're gonna we're gonna go strong. We're not gonna throw the game or anything. We're not gonna do anything foolish. Well, okay, no. Let me let me take that back. Foolish shit is gonna happen. There's there's no ignoring that. So oh, it's a whole nebula. God, dumb. <laughs> I'm calling it like it's it's not the next fight. The one after that's gonna fuck me up. Your sensors have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt, one of many fleeing the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you, or else it's trying to avoid notice. Let's hail them. Ah, oh, shit. Of course they were using it as bait. Now I've got too many weapons and half a shield. Alright. <laughs> oh, and he's got three shields. God damn. Damn, which means, all right, I'm gonna pound the weapon, or I'm gonna pound the weapon with the missiles, because my burst laser is not gonna be able to do anything. Even if all three shots hit, it will not, not, it's not gonna penetrate the shield. So we're gonna try to hit one more missile on the weapons, and then try to hit the shield room. So at least while the weapon is charging up, they won't be brutalizing me. Yep. Oh, it's on fire. Interesting. Okay. All right, two shields down. We're gonna fire the burst laser now. Yeah, that wasn't good enough. I'm, I'm keeping the missiles up though. We're gonna fire one more as long as it as long as it hits. Okay. Just one more. Just give me one more. We're done. We're set. They're fucked. Here it goes. Right here. Bow, bow. Shields are down. Oxygen's next. And they're dead anyway. Three, two, one. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, <laughs> the fire took him out. Pirate ship breaks apart and you salvage what you can. Contact the refugee ship. The refugee ship thanks you for your assistance. As a gesture of goodwill, and seeing how effectively you dispatch the enemy ship, they offer up what supplies they can spare. I mean, there's, there's no need to be nervous. I didn't save you to come at you. I don't know why I gotta be so nervous. Why do I suddenly not have enough power? Ah. I was like, why do I not have enough power all of a sudden? That doesn't make any sense. Um, so actually, in that case, we will invest... One, 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 and... Mm, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, well, I can't afford it anyway. So, yeah, we'll stick with it there. Boop and boop. So we have a fully powered ship now, at least. Oh! That's a cruel joke. To spend all my scrap and then not just one store, but two. A huge slug teleports from nowhere onto the bridge. Before you can open fire, he's spread his wares across the helm and is brandishing things at you. Oh, well, I, I feel bad about that. Oh, man. No. This is, oh man, I can't even repair my ship all the way, but I will repair what I can. That's actually really, that's really good. Oh my god, of course they have the crew teleporter again and cloaking. Oh man. Yeah, this, this is the other reason I stated that this is not gonna go as well as I wanted it to. Because, <laughs> quite frankly, it's... Ah, oh, man. A plaque market weapons trader spins you a tale of the dangers of the nebula before pushing his wear. Um, I wonder if I try to attack him. If he'll be willing to give me that weapon for free out of fear. Because that's the best way to do things, folks. If you want something done, get it done. Get fear. Scare somebody. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't do that, though. Seriously, please don't. <laughs> and if you do, I definitely didn't tell you to do it. <laughs> Alright, weapons half down, shield still fully up. Trying to fire one more. No, I don't need to. Yep. <laughs> Good waste of a rocket, friend. Mm. Uh, you can power up your FTO all you want, but if you're gonna do that, then I'm knocking out your engines. Bully. Where are you going? Nowhere. 
And, uh, you know, this had potential. This run really had... Okay, there we go. I'll take it. You almost died, though. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if their ship's on fire at all. I mean, I'm gonna stick around for a second. Because there's... Uh, <laughs> it's fucked up, but there's nothing funnier than when someone... Uh, they, they surrender, and then a few seconds later, their ship just explodes. <laughs> I always feel like, oh, man. Whoa. Whoa. You're surprised to find a ship without slug markings stranded all the way out of here and move in to provide assistance. When you see the pirate insignia on the hull, you quickly reconsider. Please keep your distance. Good God. Look at that thing. Look at it. That's massive. And we're the three st There was three stores in this sector. God, that's a cruel, cruel joke. Nope. Oh, hold on. A transmission from a nearby planet indicates an outpost below which offers supplies to travelers. You send down an away party to check it out. Oh, he's got another... Damn it. <laughs> damn, damn doodlies. Ooh, well... No, it costs 80. Again, they have a crew teleporter again. They have the burst laser that I want. They have a flak cannon, which flak is super good. And drones, which we don't need, so we'll just fix as much of the ship as we can, and we'll move on. That's really all I can do here. This would have been a great sector to chill around. Oh, here we go. There are a few more vicious beasts in the galaxy than a slug with his back to the wall. The faltering ship, armed with fire weapons, uses a remote halving tool to try and disable your door systems. They're going to burn you out. No, they're... Ooh. No. They're not going to burn me out, but they might kill me. So, immediately what I think I'm going to do here... They got three shields, so we're going to have to fire all on the shields for first. First of all, he's going to have to go fully on the shields, and unfortunately this missile really has to hit because I only have three missiles, and if it doesn't hit, bad shit's going to happen. Alright, here we go. Now we have a chance, so we're going to have to down that. Fuck, he's on fire. I'm going to try to keep an eye on him this time instead of doing what I normally do, which is, oh my god, leaving him in there to die. Use the rock to go do that, which unfortunately means I have someone off the engines, and I have no weapons left. We are out of this bitch. No, 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 no. <laughs> as soon as the weapons go, it's pretty much it's game over. The slugs rely heavily on their telepathic powers and are reluctant to give up that advantage by extending beyond nebulas. It's unlikely you'll encounter any this far from the clouds. Wow. <laughs> the ship is on fire. Oh, man. Oh, the sensor room's on fire, too, isn't it? Well, everything's on fire. But that's what rock people are for. So, stamp the last fire. <laughs> and we'll wait 30 years for them to repair everything. Yeah, see, the thing... Oh, man. My apologies. So, yeah, the, the biggest problem I'm having here, and why I say that this is not going to go too well, is based on the fact that I'm having to run for most fights at this point, um, I'm just not powerful enough. I don't have enough going for me here to do enough to anybody. So, the problem now is becoming... Ooh. Excuse me. The problem now is becoming a, a matter of... Uh, e even, no matter what I do at this point, even if I make it to the end, I'm telling you right now, I am not going to be able to destroy the flagship. It's, it's not happening. I'm fully aware to that. <laughs> but, let's see how far we can make it. So let's see what happens next. You've arrived at the Long Range Beacon. Yes, we have. Oh, hey. You arrived near a damaged and dilapidated space station. It appears to be abandoned, but you detect faint life signatures on board. So let's board the station and look for survivors. 
All around you is the stench of death and decay. The life sign readings must have been malfunctioning, because you really doubt anything can be alive in here. You quickly return to the ship. With 22 scrap, though, so, I mean, that's... Oh, Mantis Sector? Oh, uh, damn, y'all. I, I chose a wrong route. <laughs> You've entered a poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. Ensure your hull plating is up to scratch and that you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. Well, spoiler alert, now that I'm looking, don't have a lot of fuel left. We're going to hit this distress beacon where I'll inevitably find a Mantis ship and probably intruders on board. Oh, thank God. Once you arrive at the location of the distress call, a civilian ship hails you. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire, and we can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Could you lead us there? Let's do it. Take a bit of this scrap as a down payment. We'll use your jump signatures to follow you. You're really helping us out here. Now, of course I am. I'm a pretty friendly person. I like to help. Alright, so distress, distress. So we're going to hit a distress beacon. We'll hit the store. Er, no, no, no. We'll hit. We're going to hit this. We'll hit the store. We'll hit distress. We'll hit the... How do I get there? Oh, man. They're really putting me in a pickle. Yeah, no, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to beeline for the quest. I'd rather do the quest than anything else, because I'm gonna have to. Because the, uh... The rebels are gonna get here way too fast, and I won't be able to have enough time to do that and loop back around for this stupid quest. So, let's see what we can do. I've got 40 scrap. Um... Hmm... I don't know, y'all. Let's up the doors some more. Because I really hate getting boarded. There's just nothing worse. I can at least hit this distress beacon. Try to get some more scrap out of this deal here. You find the source of the distress call. A small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system is not responding. Well, that's why we have a rock crew member. Your rock soldier tears through the airlock, directly into the fire. You've never seen someone that large move that fast. It disperses as much fire suppressant as possible into the heart of the blaze, and eventually the fires start to die down. Contact the survivors. Whoa! With most of the fire under control, the scientists are able to help secure the station. They offer you their sincere gratitude and a generous reward. 56 scrapped and stealth weapons. Now, stealth weapons, if I remember correctly, means that if I have a stealth drive... Yep, it prevents weapon fire from disrupting your cloak. <clears throat> so now, now that means I need to invest. I need to invest heavily into getting a cloaking system. <sighs> yeah, even if there's one there, I won't be able to afford it right now. So yeah, I need to invest heavily in a cloaking system because that is, oh my god. As you arrive in the system, you are hailed by a loyalist settlement. Upon learning of your quest, they offer you supplies. Holy Biscuits. Okay, so you have your, yep, 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 yep. We are going right for this quest now. We need a GTFO out of the system and find a store that's going to sell me another cloaking device. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage your ship. Well, they're giving me their goods then, big boy. You prepare to secure their cargo by force. You darn tootin'. You darn tootin'. Ooh, man, they got a lot going on for them here, though. But that's still fun, because all that means is Artemis to the shields, and hmm, yeah, I need those weapons knocked out first and foremost. Hacking fine. Oh shit, Artemis is not gonna help here, because maybe. Yeah, no, the Artemis is not gonna help because they have that combat drone that's gonna shoot it out of the sky. So we just gotta keep the lasers going. Come on, come on, come on. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, they're getting out of here. I'm not gonna get them in time. Yep. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Alright, well, regardless, let's hit the quest zone. 
Let's get what I get for five whole points repair. That's well, that's not bad. The ship you were escorting thanks you. I don't think we could have made it without your help. Let my friends patch up some of your hull and show you their wares. Oh, show me their wares. Mm. Cloaking. Look at that. Oh my god. Ah, shit, though. I still don't have enough for it. And I can't sell anything to get enough for it. Ah, no. That's... That is no buenos. Mm-mm-mm. So, if that's the case... Shield recharge, a new crew member, fix my thing. Ah, that just made me really disappointed. Uh, we're gonna have him man the sensors, so that way we have everything manned that we can now. Got extra augments to the ship now. Shield charge booster, so that'll hopefully keep us alive a little more. Yeah, let's just get out of this nebula. We'll hit one more extra spot. Ah, oh, shit. Close to a sun. Oh, how convenient. You've arrived to find yourself extremely close to a star. You receive a message from a pirate ship. I'm glad you've arrived. Our ship is damaged and we're getting desperate. I hope you don't mind if we take yours. Hostile detected on board our ship. Alright, so they've sent four at us. We're gonna put him in there and we're gonna... We're gonna ruin. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. I'm gonna ruin these guys' day a little bit. Cause, yep, they're gonna try to destroy the cloaking bay. Get him out of here. That's fine by me. You guys can do whatever you want. with as much damage as we've done now. And solar flare is imminent, but that's fine, because as soon as these guys are dead, we are out of here. Vent those, make sure the fire doesn't spread. You stay here, you go back here, get back to your shields, and we're good. Uh, he has 10% faster repair, doesn't he? Yeah. Let's get this guy moving. So I'll have him repair the shields. And if, oops. If another solar flare comes, yeah, we'll just get out of here first. No need to dawdle while wow, we're getting set on fire every few seconds. Alright, cloning bay is repaired. We're good to go. Alright, and I should be able to make it out of here without having to, um... <clears throat> oh, are you kidding me? Whoa. Who knows why the Mantis would venture so close to his son. Perhaps it makes for more of a challenge. Perhaps it does. And also, I see where this is going immediately. They're going to send at least one over to me with the teleporter. They have a lot of weapons on board that thing. Or they're going to send two at me immediately. Alright, so let's let them come in. Alright, they're going right for the oxygen. Um, if that's the case, then we're going to vent this place. We're going to move him into this room. And we'll take him off the sensors for now, because he's going to be good at fighting. Because I need him to stay on the weapons for as long as possible. I'm missing... I need fuel, which means I think I actually really need to be here. For, I have to stay and fight this one. It's got a lot of lasers and a beam weapon, so we're going to fire everything on the weapons. I don't even care. I need those weapons out of commission as fast as possible. Yeah, things are not going so well. Oxygen first. Nope. 
Nope, nope, nope. Oh, thank God. Oh my God. Back to station. missiles. Oh, and they've got a cloning bay too, which means this battle is fucked, fucked, fucked. Get out, get out. We're leaving. We, we are leaving. Oh, and we're out of fuel. We're out of fuel. Guys. <laughs> Oh, this is no joke. We're out of fuel. And oxygen's broken and I wasn't even paying attention to it. Well, you know, I'm pretty confident that this is, this right here is now the end. Cause I don't have enough to buy any fuel. And within the next turn or two, the, uh, the rebels are gonna be here. And I don't have any missiles. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> oh, man. One of the many approaching fighters gets into weapon range and his scanners attack that it has surplus fuel. It has surplus fuel, and it is trying to get out of here, but the biggest problem is it has three shields, and I only have a burst laser and no rockets. Well... Well, y'all, it's been fun. Uh, yeah, not much more to say. It's been, it's definitely been fun. We had good time. Oh boy, here comes the fun stuff in a few seconds. Oh boy, oh boy. Yep. Oh, well, well, it missed. That's pretty amazing. But yeah, so it, it was a fun stream. I uh, had a lot of fun. Uh, definitely be playing more FTL tomorrow. Uh, I'm trying to keep a schedule going uh, pretty much every day from... I'll try to start it at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. That is uh, running until... Uh, kind of like today went. Just running until pretty much we're done. Or I'm cashed out. I don't have much left going for me. So, uh, yeah. Expect some more FTL probably tomorrow around... Eight, like I said, maybe a little earlier. Uh, if you follow me on that the Twitter or whatever, um, trying to learn how to start using that. So I'll uh, I'll announce oh, Jesus. I'll announce uh, streaming then. Uh, so definitely keep an eye out for that. Uh, the Twitch or the Twitter is. Oh man, I don't even remember. I'll I'll link it in chat and I'll also try to throw it up on the. Uh, <laughs> I'll I'll try to throw it up on the uh, on the Twitch page here. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, <laughs> this one has even more shields. Oh man. So yeah, I'm just gonna let this pan out. Uh, obviously, we all know where this one's going, so we'll just vent the whole ship. Fuck it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it's definitely fun. Good times. We're just gonna sit and go down with the ship because that's the only option we'll even make it easier for him power down all systems <laughs> well well folks it's been fun I need that titanic music playing right now oh there it goes I'll play with the Castrol tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll try some new stuff. Try to get some chat suggestions as well. Figure out what the hell I'm doing wrong. One last explosion marks your fate as your ship is torn apart. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Oh, look at all that easy. Oh, what did I get? Get the Sector 5 unlocked on normal. Man, am I just that terrible? Am I not? I know I have personally not beaten the game. Uh, 
I have made it to stage three of the capital ship, and then at that point I had like nothing left, and it just obliterated me. Oh, I did not mean quit. All right. Well, so that's the end of that, I suppose, y'all. Uh, thanks for chilling here on this late night Twilight stream. And uh, yeah, again, I will uh, see y'all tomorrow. So, uh, good night. a goat. He might be the goat, but goat's not very smart. The Bud Light's putting together the ultimate group of esports all-stars to see who really